Hello my little sugarbuggers, welcome back to the channel. So today I have another mod review and this time it is a way to go ahead and switch up your pre-existing granite falls to something a little more fitting and tropical for summer. So Nando and a small team stood behind him and they created the Sims 4 Tropical Getaway Mod Pack which comes with a bunch of different things such as a few new traits. We've also got some build buy mode options objects, a couple cast items, and obviously a huge community project in order to, I guess you could say, add more, um, more locations and, and fun spots uh, to, I think it's called Granite Beach is what they're naming this place. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. First and foremost, you can see this brand new loading screen or brand new logo screen. I don't really know how you would call it, but it's really cute and super duper animated. And honestly, it literally looks like something the Sims team did and put into the game themselves. You have a little yacht, a little boat that kind of moves also with these pretty sweet palm trees and if you're kind of wondering Jen 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 didn't you do something a review of something very similar to this in the past I did this is an update to the life is a beach mod uh, they added a few new things such as that logo screen they also added this brand new map um that kind of makes it look a little more tropical and whatnot. And also there's a few other details that I mentioned earlier that come with this, making it more of a pack versus kind of a, uh, you know, world revamp or whatever. So just keep in mind, you are going to need outdoor retreat in order to be able to access Granite uh, Beach. And while you do have Granite Beach installed, um, in your mods folder, you won't be able to access access Granite Falls. All you need to do is just remove the mod and everything kind of goes back to normal and put it in when you feel like you want to visit a different location. However, you will need to go in and manually change up the lots if you choose. Um, and then, you know, you could revert them back, I guess. That's probably the only real inconvenience I could think about. But until, you know, EA makes more worlds or makes it possible for us to make more worlds, this is kind of what, what we're left with. And honestly, I think it is a total amazing trade-off because it is free. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little like demo and show you guys what the um, new landscape and stuff looks like. Here we are with my, uh, my Sim Kelly Briggs and she's going to go ahead and pick out a vacation spot. These are all um, lots that I did download um, previously because I didn't actually, it wasn't launched at the time of me doing uh, the initial mod review, but I wanted to go back and redo it like after everything was said and done I only had like the beta version and to be honest with you to get a beta version I think it was more of a feedback for Nando and his team than it was like a review it was it's just it I wanted to basically review the final product for you guys not a beta version does that make sense I feel like I would give you give you much more um much more information and 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 would really help you decide if you wanted to download it or not not a beta version you know so that's that's kind of why I redid this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the romantic beach house, um, and I will list all these lots and stuff down in the description for you guys in case you want to go ahead and check it out. But it looks like for whatever reason we've got a couple people. <laughs> we've got Jay Huntington and we've got Galvin Richards uh, currently renting through romantic beach house. So of course nobody wants the uh, the one that's like fourteen hundred and thirty three damn dollars a day. No 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 no. Um, but I guess I'll go ahead and I'll rent this one. I mean, it's a lot of freaking money, but you know what? For We'll splurge for review sake purposes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of take a quick gander at what the world looks like. Very briefly, I'm going to hop into create a sim. I'm going to show you guys some of the options because like I said, I saw the beta version and there just really wasn't a lot. Like I'll be honest with you, the beta version of create a sim, a, a lot of the stuff I just, except for like the exception of a shirt and the bikini and the guy's tank tops, I really just didn't get that tropical vibe that you would expect in this mod pack I guess so this is just like a quick little view of the world as surrounding granite beach but we're gonna get into the cast because that's just that's just how I like to do a baby <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and have uh, Kelly change up her appearance really quick this is actually the top that she is wearing that comes with the mod pack and I'll let you know if anything was left out or changed or anything like that so as you can see I don't have any mods installed as of 
right this moment. Um, so therefore, you know, things are going to look a little bit different. So there is two new traits. There is the relaxer and I forgot what the other one was. I just have beach re written down. So here's the relaxer. Um, this is these gain these sims gain powerful moodlets from relaxing at the beach getaways. They also enjoy um, fishing, performing spa activities, soaking in the hot tub, eating ice cream, and spending time at libraries, lounges, and cafes. Now let's just go ahead and actually see, are these, she doesn't look very relaxed. <laughs> she does, she looks like she's hyped. She's hot, bruh. <laughs> um, but we'll do that one, and then we'll also go ahead and uh, try the other one, which is, I think, um, relaxer, and then beach something. I don't know what the other one was. It said beach. Maybe it's not. Maybe it, it says that there was another one on the website. But again, I think it was, like, translated from, like, Dutch or something. Um, so I'm, I'm only seeing the relaxer trait, which is totally fine by me. I'll pick that one, and I'll just make her, like, family oriented or something. I love this interaction. Okay, so we'll do that. And then really quick, let's just go through some of the new styles by quickly filtering out custom content. Okay, so so far all that I see is the same things I saw last time. I also want you to guys keep in mind if you do need help installing mods or I know my voice is like, what is that? What is, what is this? <laughs> I know it's like back to school and you know, like, but like I thought it was past all puberty thing. Like what, what, um, <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyways, as I was trying to say, you will need to be able to um, enable script mods. You just go into like your settings, you go into game options, it's in one of those. Um, and then the other one's just like a traditional like mod uh, install so you don't have to. It, I have all this information down below in the description. So, all right, we have that. And then I do believe there was also, um, from what I can remember, there was also some glasses so here are the glasses and some of the things that did change is that they added some pineapples to them that's why i wanted to review like the full entire you know once it was released because the version i got was like literally the beta that's probably like to give like i said give feedback to nando it wasn't like an actual like you know i don't know it was just it was interesting i mean it was great but i feel like i would have rather had the full version you know what i mean instead of a version that wasn't finished yet to review to you guys. That's just me. But of course I appreciate it that he would even consider somebody like me to trust with his baby. Like what? <laughs> um, anyway, I, I, I know a lot of people forgot so many different things too. So it's just, I don't, I didn't want to be one of those. I didn't want to be one of those forgetful ones because I always am like, you know, let me have the torch. Let me win for just once and watch. I'm going to forget something. Uh, here are some bikini tops and there's actually different colors this time. See, in the initial review that I did of this, I was just not impressed because there wasn't that many swatches. I'm like, what is, you know, and there was like an extra shirt. It's just, honestly, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving my opinion or recommending an unfinished product to you guys, no matter who it is. Um, and then here's this dress. I actually really love this dress. I think it's really fun. It's super duper pretty. Um, I really like it. And then there's this one too. Now that I have had a second wind, I see the difference. The logo is changed. At first I was like, why, why, why are they giving us this outfit? We already have this, but see, sometimes it's, it's good to get your, to, to get a second wind. Uh, let's go see if there's any new papos. Cause I think that there might've been, nope, there's not. Okay. So we can also go ahead and check out the dudes really quick. I'm sure Kelly won't mind. Um, ooh, okay, see, this is new. This wasn't here originally. There's a really sweet neon shirt. I like that. Okay. Um, I do, but this one reminds me of Hotline Bling. Does it remind you of Hotline Bling? Does it remind anybody of Hotline Bling? Like, she called me on my cell phone. When it, I can't do it. I just that's why I, I don't do karaoke. <laughs> like what? Um, is there any full body? No, no full body. I would have loved to see some some trunks, uh, even if they were recolors. I would have liked to see it. Um, but I think that's about it. And then the same the same glasses. I think that it, you're actually you know what, Kelly, you look pretty. You look pretty good either way. I love it. Um, same like glasses situation. Nothing has really changed there. I do remember some Nando was saying to somebody, "You forgot the kids. You forgot the kids stuff." So <laughs> let me not be that person. I'm just joking. I am such like I am the worst. All right. So I think this is a new like bathing suit swatch, which I think is really cute. I like this. This is adorable. Okay. Yeah. See, this is just completely kind of changes up the game. I would have liked to see, I still would have liked to see more um, summer stuff though. Just, just being honest, I feel like the bikini top should have came with the bikini bottom. 
it just <laughs> bikini bottom like spongebob but no i'm serious like i just feel like that kind of makes sense you know and then i don't know how some like the dress i love the dress i'm so happy that we get that i just don't really see how that fits into you know try i mean i guess it could i don't know i'm i'm uh, uh, the, the creative some stuff there's definitely some hits and there's definitely some passes that's all that i'm saying so so let's go ahead and exit the creative sim we touched base on that really quick you got some cool new stuff there um i would like to know your favorite item from creative sim in the comments down below like you know let me know because this is what we do like shopping together i love the dress that's my favorite um, the dress, and then I like, I love this top too. This one's really cute. And then what else do I like? I love the tank tops for the men. Um, and also the pineapple sunglasses. Those are pretty cool too. All right, so let's talk about some of the other things that we could go ahead and discuss. Let's just talk about the scenery because I do want to get into the build by mode objects with you guys, but I actually may, you know what, let's just do that now. And then we always save the fun stuff for last. Um, there's a couple new things like wallpaper, I think, uh, was one of them. There's a new foundation which I actually really enjoy. What am I doing? Like, seriously, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, there's a new foundation. What else was there? I don't know if I can edit this while they're on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, end vacation. I might, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like totally booted them out of there. It's booted and booted. Hey, it's booted and booted. Hey, no, I'm just playing. Um, foundation. Uh, you know what? I'll just surprise you. No, I really won't because I'm horrible at surprises. Okay. All right. So let's just do the typical. We're going to go ahead and do custom content. Okay. Because these are all things that were not not here before. Like, this is, this is good. Okay. So we get new trees, which I guess is this one here, which wasn't there in the beta version. Um, It is a new desert palm, which I really like this guy. I think I don't really know the difference between the two. Um, I think they look exactly the same as the other palm trees, but... They're in there. Uh, we also get these really cool, and I love these. I loved these oh so much. I can't wait to like build for you guys. Like I definitely want to do some sort of, um, I really want to do like a, some sort of tropical build. And this house is like seriously so freaking underrated on the gallery. I think it only has like a couple hundred uh, downloads, but it's just, it's so amazing. Like I would love to have this like on Windenburg Island. Ooh, my God. Yeah, that's like totally me right here. Um, that's me right there. And no, I'm just going to stop. Okay, <laughs> like what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have a couple different swatches for you guys. Oh, this is new too. So we have this one, and then there's also this one, which I really love. It kind of reminds me of, like, a bandana, right? Or is it, like, a dodge gem moment? Like, that's exactly what that is. Um, there's no other swatches, just those two. And then this is a hanging cloth. <laughs> a hanging handkerchief, <laughs> which is kind of fun. You know what I mean? Like, you could play with this a little bit. I don't know exactly how you would use this. Oh, you would find ways, though. You would find ways. You guys are so freaking creative. Like, you probably already have it together. And I'm, like, sitting here like, what is this? What is that? All right, here's a rug. Uh, this actually comes in some more colors, which it didn't in the beta version, which I'm so excited to see. I really love this one, too. It kind of has a very 70s feel to me. But especially in this color, like, uh, palette, it definitely has that beach vibe. Um, and that's, and that's, that's really cool too. These little glass thingy majiggers, I honestly don't get. Um, I would love to use them though, especially this one. Um, this one's really cool. I think this is maybe new. I can't wait to build. I'm telling you. And these look so freaking good. Like these honestly to me, and I know I say like a lot, like seriously, can we just get over it? <laughs> like, can I try something else? Can I like replace it with licorice? Like, see, it's, it's, and then more like cute. Oh my God. The more you don't want to say it, the more you say it. Oh, it's so annoying. I can't. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. Uh, and then they're all different shapes and stuff, so you could probably build things. They kind of remind me of like a, um, I really like them just like this. Like some like super cool, super cool, super cool, like uh, art deco. And, and now every time I say like, you guys are going to notice it so much more. Um, but I don't really know what else to do with it. I mean, I, I have a couple ideas, but I'm not going to share them with you. Um, <laughs> well, you all have to see for later. But they kind of remind me like, of the, um, what is it? The glass, uh, glass house, no. Uh, oh my gosh, the greenhouses. The greenhouses from The Sims 3. That's what it reminds me. And then, and then we have these paintings here, which are super freaking cute. And they have all different types of paintings, which I think is going to be so freaking fun to use. I love stuff like this. And especially because, you know, for the most part, it really does look like it belongs in game. I won't mind it. It's going to be the CC that I love to use. And then we have the Washington Palm, which honestly, I don't know if it's just me, you guys. Oh, wait, it's a little bit bigger. 
Okay, so we have like, you know, Big Scout and Little Scout. I got it. Big Fry and Little Fry. Uh, and then we have these right here. And one of my complaints when I was initially doing my review, which still stands, um, is I wish there was like the other pieces to it too. Like, you know, I think there is a um, smaller love seat that would come in this set and then also like a chair. I would have loved to see it, but that's just me. I, I don't know if anybody else kind of, you know, feels the same way. And then we have a Weeping Willow Tree, which is also super duper pretty and wasn't in the original um the original game at all so when you do show all i noticed that this ends up changing rental items has a lot more stuff but maybe this actually changes what you see because like i said i only saw these items and i didn't see much else very interesting okay so now that we are kind of over and done with i am going to show you just hypothetically really quick what i was going to try to show you initially um okay so there is a new pool color and I really like this, and I think this is really cool for people who don't necessarily have, like, get-together and whatnot, because I feel like this new pool, um, this new pool, like, color really is, uh, so reminiscent of the, um, this one here, if you can see. It's, like, the swimming in sparkles. It's very similar, except it's a CC version, and it kind of just has, like, this more Caribbean blue, tropical feel, if you, if you feel me. <laughs> All right, so let me show you. I think there's some new wallpapers. I, I don't want to miss anything. I think I've got everything kind of mentioned. Um, there is these new Caribbean somethings, which are perfect for beach houses. And you know what? I have downloaded so for lippin' many wallpapers, like sighting, and I just don't ever like them. I don't feel like they ever match up to the to the base game or any of the EA stuff. And I kind of like these. I like them so much. I wish they would have come in more colors. That kind of is disappointing. I'm going to be honest with you. I would have loved to see the whole pie, like white, all different stuff, maybe even turning these horizontally um, or vertically rather and making them um, available for that too. I just love this lot. Isn't it like so cute? It's adorable. But yeah, I would have really loved to see other options with it. But hey, I'm just, that's what a review is, right? Just, just say it. <laughs> okay, so then we have the new foundation, which I'm gonna have to do a little bit of finagling uh, in order to actually show you guys. But we'll play with the foundation heights really fast. And as you guys can see, um, as we have the home coming off of its tracks, there is this new bad boy, which it basically kind of gives it, I think it's called the thatched foundation. The first time I read this, I literally thought it said snatched. I was like, ooh, Nando. <laughs> He be throwing them shit. He be snatching them weaves. But no, it says thatched, which is also really freaking cute. I like that name. I mean, it's, it is what it is, right? But it, either way, even though snatched is a little more exciting because that's like my favorite word in the entire world. We know this. Snatched, snatch basket, same. <laughs> okay, so what else do we have to do? I think that's it. I think that's all that I, I need to cover, honestly, except for obviously showing you the whole entire point of this video. But I will, ooh, I just burped. I'm sorry. I will get into that in just a second. I'm just going to go switch over to Miss Kelly Briggs, and I will show you guys what it looks like. There isn't really a ton to share with you. It's a lot of visual. Um, there isn't any gameplay change. You aren't able to, like, swim in the ocean. I know a few people are asking about that. Um... Like I said, it's just mostly, we're going to go actually visit the bar, um, and we are just going to go and, and, and have fun. I really love this bar specifically, and again, I will have the stuff linked down below, because I feel like it just kind of has that vacation-y feel. It has that getaway um, kind of vibe to it, the Caribbean escape, as they described it, and I feel like it just fits. It definitely feels like a vacation spot, so that's what I really love about it, because it also has all these really cool colors, and the neon lights, and these really sweet like uh, get together flag thingies because <laughs> I'm such so descriptive right I don't know I really love this lot and uh, I know there's like a ton of different lots you guys can get from the the community um and we'll and the, the hashtag is tropical getaway if I didn't mention we'll check that out too before we go so this is just kind of what it looks like um I don't notice anything different from the beta version but as you guys can see there is the new um the new like uh what you call it uh, volcanoes, and I think what's in there is either reflection from the sky, where that's supposed to be emulating lava. There's a whole bunch of new rocks, so it's a very bumpy terrain. It kind of reminds me of a living volcano. We have a bunch of these trees and stuff. We have a lot of the same stuff from outdoor retreat, like the birds and all that kind of stuff. Although you would assume those would be seagulls, no, they are indeed eagles. And uh, this is just pretty much what it looks like. Oh, this looks different. This looks so much different 
this looks so much different. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, because before when I first reviewed the beta version, these just kind of looked like they were floating in midair. Now these kind of look a lot more realistic and they do blend in very nicely to the actual background. It looks like water before they looked like floating volcano clouds. Like that is, uh, that's the only thing I was like, okay, that looks a little weird to me, but no, they fixed that. That's amazing. So it's kind of, it's like good that I did this now because I, I had some things to say, Amanda. I did. Even though I couldn't do any better than you did. So let's be real. You know what I mean? Like, I feel awkward being like, hey, so about you floating volcanoes. But yeah, I can't even freaking make a t-shirt in, 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 in creative sim. But uh, oh, did they change these? This looks like, oh my god, look at the light rays. Just look at the ground. These look different to me too. These are really pretty. The flowers seem different. Um, in terms of like, is there still stuff from outdoor retreat? There is. You are going to get people kind of waltzing around in their outdoor attire. You are going to have some of the same signs. Um, and then, uh, then there's the signs that have changed. You know, we have these ones here that kind of have the willows and the palms. Um, and then we, of course, have these, these the, the, the random, random beach bears. You know what I mean? Whatever. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Uh, the bathrooms, the little shopping stalls. All of those things are, from what I can see, the same. Um, but you also have, like I said, all these new trees and such that kind of just really make it feel like it is indeed a tropical getaway. And that's just, I mean, there is, oh, there's a little something going on here, Nanzo. You got like a flying rock. Apparently, rocks levitate in Granite Beach. Very cool. But as the sun goes down, um, so does the sky. It feels, oh my god, that is a stunning photo. This is really, really, really pretty. I mean, it does kind of look like a backdrop to me. I'm not going to lie and say it's completely, like, fluid. It, it does look like a backdrop. It honestly does. Like, it does kind of look like a painting. It, it isn't as flawless. But again, if you're really considering that a, you know, a team of people created this who don't, I mean, from what I understand, don't work with EA or have any experience with, you know, EA, I think this is amazing, and I think it's so freaking mind-boggling how somebody, honestly, how a team of people could create an entirely new world, you know? I just think it is so freaking killer, and I, I can't even tell you guys how how many, like, props I give them. It's just, I feel like this is so cool, and I really do feel like it is a tropical getaway, and I really do feel like it is a Caribbean escape, and I feel like as long as you go ahead, you keep an open mind and uh, a light heart, <laughs> and you put in your all new lots and stuff, you are definitely going to get the exact same feel as if you would um, from an EA plot. That's just me. As we see all the beautiful like moon coming up and everything like that, you know, it's just it's really fun. I cannot wait to have my sons actually play with this um, a little bit more in detail. So let's just go really fast as we end up uh, and wrap up this review. I want to go in the gallery and uh, whoa, <laughs> someone's getting a little, you know, <laughs> getting a little pixelated here. Um, we're going to go and do the hashtag. Uh, let me see, tropical getaway, and all of the details, um, mind you, will be in the, you know, to Nando's links, and just everything you need to know will be definitely linked down below. It's National Cat Day as of me doing this video, and my cat's been a freaking snatch all day long, like all day long. So here are a couple of the new items using the, uh, the, the, the tropical getaway. Now it, it, I see that people are putting them in other lots because they don't want to get flagged for CC makes total sense. But of course you probably would put the, um, the advanced and then include custom content on it, especially if people did use some of the stuff that came with the pack. But as you can see, there are a ton of creations um, here ready for you guys to download and just kind of fill up your world with. Like this bungalow seems really cool. Um, there's also this one that kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Barbie, Malibu Barbie home. There's just a lot of cool things in here and I love seeing your guys' creativity. So this is always fun just to, you know, hop on and, and take a look. And you can also, like I said, furnish your, your tropical getaway um, a little bit easier that 
that way too. But uh, I'll still link everything down below for you guys to check out. And I think I pretty much covered it. But if I didn't, then that just means there's something, um, there's something left for you to discover. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you do decide to go ahead and download it, let me know in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. I'll also do a poll asking you guys, will you or will you not be downloading the um, Tropical Getaway mod? And I think that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are having an amazing, fantastic, freaking summer and living it up like it's 2006. No, I'm just kidding. Well, 2016. 2006 was a good year. Actually, I was pregnant that year, wasn't it? So I wasn't doing a whole lot of, whole lot of, you know, playing beach volleyball, but it looked like one. Anyway, that's just not, that's neither here nor there. It's actually everywhere. But anyway, <laughs> not that you care. I'm going to go ahead and roll on out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.